Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario 64 DS in the last episode. We finished things up at the Wet Dry World, having a surprisingly easy time doing so. In this episode, we're going to be going to a new world here in Peach's Castle. And, well, I felt it was good that we start off the video here in this room because um, we got Mario, played a few levels as him. When we got Luigi... Uh, we played, uh, we didn't play as him for a little while, and I kept being like, I know I said I'd play as him, but I have this other reason for doing it. And li lately, Luigi actually got a lot of love getting to be the main person we played through two worlds with. And, uh, Wario got a lot of playtime as well, both before and after we unlocked him. But, I've been thinking about who I want to play as for this next world. I've been thinking really hard about it. And I think I have an answer. Come on out, Yoshi. We haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> well, actually, no. We played as him in Snowman's Land. But that's not the point. You know what I mean. We haven't gotten a lot of stars with the guy. I mean, the Yoster kind of got gypped here. He is the character that you start the game with, and he's rarely the character that you're playing any of the later stages with. But he's not a bad character. He just plays kind of differently. You know, you got to fight by throwing eggs and stuff like that. He also's got this handy flutter jump that makes him pretty good for getting horizontal distance. And hey, Toad, what do you got? Wow, look at all those power stars! You have to beat that Bowser! Let me give you a hint about the castle! In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror and I'll have the info. When you and when you go to the water town, you can flood it with a high jump into the painting. Oh, and I found this. Sounds like somebody's ex-wife. He really does. That's how Toad always is. Anyway, he gets you a star, of course. Had to point that out, because that Toad is very important. And like I said, I like talking to the Toads. Anyway, I do not want to save. What I'd like to do instead is hop into this very tiny painting. Which reveals us an huge level. We have mission number one here at Tall Tall Mountain. Scale the mountain. I remember as a kid, I didn't know that scale meant count, and I thought it was asking me to do like a math equation on how big the mountain was or something like that. Uh, starting off on Tall Tall Mountain, if you go backwards, there is an easy get one up. You can hug the wall to easily get it without having to fall. I don't know if I. It's so easy to get that I had to say that it was easy to get twice in that sentence, of course. Let's go ahead and get these. Alright, not bad. So, Tall Tall Mountain. Uh, this is another course that, once again, I felt was kind of difficult when I was a child. Uh, main thing being, actually, that first jump. When I was a kid, I was awful at doing long jumps. Anytime I would try to do a long jump, I would always accidentally hit jump before I hit, you know, the crouch button. So I'd always... No, no... Wow! When I was trying to demonstrate what mistake I always made, I actually long jump and I killed myself because of it. Anyway, what I would always do is that. I would always, like, barely hop off the ground and then ground pound, and it would screw up my momentum just so, so hard. It was really, really annoying. If we climb up there, we'll get some more red coins, but I'd like to take this longer route for now, just because, well, we probably won't be taking this route very much, to be perfectly honest with you. I believe that if you uh, throw bob at Queen bob that is how Yoshi is able to hurt her. I know it's not Queen bob but I like calling her that. Nope, actually, it seems my uh, bob my uh, bob theory does not work on the Chuckya, so... Uh, up here is one of the things that I think people hate the most about Tall Tall Mountain. This monkey, if he will run around and annoy you, and if you grab him as Mario, Luigi, or Wario, he will take your hat and run off with it, and you got to catch him again to get him back, and he is held to catch a second time. But as Yoshi, he doesn't have a grab option, so instead, let's eat him. Ooh, Kiki! Don't eat me! I won't taste good! I'll give you a terrible stomach ache! Help me! Ooh, Kiki! And that's pretty much all he does. He doesn't do anything else for Yoshi, unfortunately. But I knew a lot of people would be very curious about what he does if you're Yoshi. So I felt like it was just kind of good to play this level as Yoshi because we hadn't seen him in a while. And there was that lone mechanic that I know everybody would have been asking about if I didn't play as Yoshi. So, now you know what he does! Uh, and I'm back to... Uh, really quick, up there where that monkey is, I thought I would mention really quick that if you drop down here, this is the location of the bob -omb buddy in the level who will prepare the cannon for you. You need this cannon for a later mission, so I highly recommend talking to this guy ASAP. Uh, if you want to get back up, I think a well placed backflip with Luigi can do it. But of course I'm back to square one once again because I couldn't do it right. Alright, finally made this log jump correctly, and I don't remember there being a peg here in the N64 version, was there? I don't... Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. You can get yourself a mega... Okay, then it wasn't here. Okay, you can get yourself a mega mushroom doing this. 
uh, which I gotta say is really fun when they throw these never-ending supplies of wrecking balls at you and you can just spam the, e or not really spam them, but they just kind of just spam them at you and you can just destroy them as much as you want and get loads of one-ups. Oh man. And by loads of one-ups, I mean three. Or, actually I was hoping it would drop more on my head right there. Oh well. Anyway, that's just kind of a fun little extra thing you can do along the way. So, we're almost at the top of the mountain. As the name implies, this is indeed a very tall mountain. If you turn the camera right here, you can see that there is um, a one-up one right there. I don't know why I couldn't remember what a one-up was called. Ugh. God, my Nintendo brethren would be ashamed of me, and they probably are because they're watching this video. Up, oh, come on. Go back! <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind. Okay, Okay, you know what? Screw the backflip. It... Okay, gonna try again and be a bit fancier about it this time. No, wait, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission! Okay, let's try this again. Okay, what, what, what? No, we grabbed onto the... Ugh. How many dang times am I going to fail this one godforsaken jump? So much for Yoshi being good for jumping as well. Oh, man. Okay. I may get that time, though, but last time he grabbed onto the ledge, and then he just lets go without me doing anything. Um, while we're up here at the top of the mountain, I wanted to mention one other thing. You got that pattern of coins up there, which is kind of interesting. And you have a few other things. You can notice there's a block there that you can break as Wario. You're going to want to remember these things for a bit later. For the time being, though, let's just go on up here and collect ourselves... Ooh, actually, no. This star gave me a lot of grief, so you know what, star... Oh. No, I didn't even get to breathe fire on it. Ugh. Way to fail. All right, mission number two, Mystery of the Monkey Cage. We are going to need to keep calm and doi mist here, because we are going to be playing as Wario to do this. Yes, okay. So, going through this mission, there are a few things that I would like to point out. First of all, Yoshi will not do for this mission, unfortunately, because the way that he catches monkeys is by eating them. And for some reason, I don't think that counts. Now, what I wanted to point out is there's these brick blocks periodically throughout the mission. If you hit these, especially this first one right here, you can get a Mega Mushroom and become somehow an even fatter warrior. So for those of you who'd want to do that, there's also those Manny Moles right there so that you can, or Manny Moles, so that you can uh, grind up, uh, grind one-ups. I can't talk. You can also bump ya instead of chuck ya. And uh, that's really about it here. I guess I kind of just want to be warrior for that. Should you grab this monkey right here, he will merely take your cap, and we kind of don't want that as Yoshi, because taking the cap means that we will revert back into Yoshi, and thus we can't do this mission. Uh, so, we are going to head on over this way! I missed. Dope. Up on the very top of the mountain, there is a completely separate monkey that will run from you instead of try to annoy you. If you catch this monkey instead, come here, it's actually called Yukiki, the monkey is not his name. It just the, the mission is called Mystery of the Monkey Cage, so I figured I would go along with it. If you get the monkey into a corner, he will oftentimes jump out of it. So what you need to do is just make a diving grab for him. Ow! Let me go! Ooh, Kiki! I was only teasing. Can't you take a joke? I'll tell I'll tell you what. Let's trade. If you let me go, I'll give you I will give you something really good. So how about it? You can either hold on or free him. If you hold on, it doesn't really do anything of note. So, freeing him will make him start walking down here incredibly slowly. Buddy, this is Wario's walking speed. He's moving faster than you are. The only way that this could be more embarrassing is if Wario was swimming faster than you, too. Alright, let's see here. Got there. Okay, there we go. He's going to go ahead and open it. So, he's going to hop around. And he's going to be like, hee hee Hops on the cage. Spins it around. The maniac crashed it into the waterfall. God bless his soul. Okay, no, he doesn't die, but... Well, actually, does he disappear after that? I think he does. Um, well, um, maybe he does. There needs to be a creepypasta about that, just like there needs to be one about the piano and Big Boo's haunt. Uh, is he actually still here? No, there's only one monkey. He crashed this cage into the side of a mountain so that we may have this. Bless his soul. On to mission number three, Scary Shroom's Red Coins. I suggest playing as Yoshi for this mission because his flutter jump allows you to, cor to, bleh, to correct a lot of complicated jumps that can be made in this mission. Bob and Buddy is right here. You can't miss him. He will give you the locations of the... 
coins, which is not really helpful because it's a very vertical level, and this is an overhead map. It was more of a 3D-ish map, uh, which I understand why it's not, because I'd probably be tough to do on the DS, um, having that on, having, you know, separate 3D views on both screens, but you know what I'm saying. In this level, the bob on buddy is especially not helpful. Pretty much the only way that he'll tell you is he'll be like, okay, are you missing an air are you missing a red coin in the shrooms area? Which you can kinda sorta see on the bottom. Actually, you can see that where that is just fine. But uh the part that he's not helpful at all for is this. And this is where I feel like you'd be missing red coins a lot. This is a very vertical spot where you got lots of red coins all very close together in X and Y space or um in a uh, X and Z space, but not Y, I should say. Okay. So we're just gonna go and collect our red coins right here. It's actually not that tough of a star, to be perfectly honest with you. This was another mission that, as a kid, it took me countless tries to do. Um, not much I have to say about this. The only really new thing about this mission, I believe, is the ivy mechanic. Which are we even gonna get into the ivy mechanic? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, where are we? We got ourselves a one-up mushroom right over there. Uh, where is this last red coin? Wow, after I'm saying like the bob on buddy is not helpful, I'm like, oh, where? Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, can I backflip up there, actually? Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, whoa, okay, at least I held on. Let's, uh, let's not be fancy about this. Last time I tried backflipping as Yoshi, it didn't even work out for me that well. Said that, and it doesn't look like I'll be able to show off the ivy mechanic. Basically, in short, there's ivy in this level, and if you try to jump on it, you don't jump nearly as high. Uh, got ourselves a Luigi cap right there. I don't know why I wanted to grab that, because I've been trying to play as Yoshi more. Oh, well. Uh, let's drop down. Wow! Epic drop down there, Luigi. Yeah, really brave jump. Okay. There is the star right over there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Mysterious Mountainside. This is one of my favorite missions in Super Mario 64. Hands down. I'm going to be playing as Yoshi for it once again. Okay. So, for this mission, there is an easy way that you can do this by going back here and doing some fancy jumps. I think it was like a backflip or something in the N64 version. That is not allowed in this version of the game. Just saying. So, what we need to do is we need to get a bit higher up on the mountain. And because we've seen this climb a few times over, I understand this might be kind of weird for people that are watching in the interactive mode for my, who might want to help on this mission individually. But I would like to go ahead and cut ahead to being higher up on the mountain because we've kind of climbed it three times already in different ways. And I think we've kind of seen all the different ways you can go up the mountain aside from that patch of ivy, which we don't even need to go through to get there. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, you want to go over this gap right here. And you're going to see this cloud right here that is going to try to blow you off of the mountain. Or rather, blow your bat off. Blow your something. Wow, that was a great choice of words. You're going to have these coins leading into this wall right here that looks very wobbly. And check it out. We got an invisible painting. Okay. Welcome to Tall Tall Mountain. Yeah, great name. If you turn around right here, you think there would be secrets just like there are on the Prince of Secret slide, but there's not. Speaking of Prince of Secret slide, that's just what this level is. Now, I believe that the icons that are, or rather the uh, little pictures that are floating off in space right there are different in the N64 version. Should also be noted that the beta version of the stage was seen uh, in a trailer, and the coins look so much nicer in it, but anyway. And that is really, really grim right there. I remember as a kid that scaring me when I went straight right in that part, and there was a skull at the end of there to greet me, and then I just thought, I'm just like, Ugh. that was. It's so funny, all these things that they don't intend to be creepy, though, but they just scare the crap out of you when you're a kid. It's actually kind of funny. I guess they just kind of were like, oh, those, you know, our Japanese kids are tougher than them. How did I fall there? I... Mm. Okay, it is worth noting, though, that if you fall out of that area and you jump in the back in the painting, it respawns you right here. Man, though, I do have to say, I really, really like these slide levels. I know that this is the third one that we've seen in the game, but this is hands down my favorite of the three. The one in Cool Cool Mountain doesn't sit too well with me. Prince of Secret Slide is fun to just sit there and speedrun to see the best time you can get sometimes when you're just really bored for an afternoon. But this one right here is kind of the most remote of the slide levels that we've seen so far, and it's just, I... And it's odd, I just I don't hear the slide talked about very much, though, yet I like it so much. I like how I'm liking it so much, though, yet I'm screwing up that jump so badly. I just keep hitting the jump button, like, too late on it, so I end up not making it. Okay, let's not hit it too late. Let's hit it right on time. Okay, there we go. Your floater jump makes that a lot easier. You just go through here, you fall down the hole, and then that lets you come out here. Now, in the N64 version, this was not fenced in. It was just kind of in the side of the mountain with a little tiny fence right here that was, you know, only about Yoshi's arm height. Letting you kind of cheat this. On top of that, you might notice the coins that we have have stayed with us as we came out here. 
That made the 100 coin mission in Tulsaw Mountain so easy to do in the N64 version. Sadly, I can't do it here. So, I thought I'd mention that for people playing the N64 version. Let's go ahead and grab our star. And Yoshi remained in that cage for the rest of his days. That poor dinosaur. All right, Yoshi managed to escape from that cage, which is a proverbial showing of how he was treated as an item for, God, like a decade of gaming before finally becoming a character again. Well, it's not entirely true. He wasn't treated as an item in the Mario sports games, at least. Anyway, next time on Super Mario 64 DS, we're going to be finishing up Tall Time Out and getting the other half of the stars that we have not gotten there yet. See you guys then. Yoshi got back.